Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we are here to keep things simple and fun. Are you a senior photographer, but maybe something just isn't quite going right? Or maybe you just want some tips today on how to better prepare for your senior sessions. Well, we are going to get you those today. And make sure to stick around until the end because we have something special just for you. By the end of this video today, you will walk away with a few tips and tricks to better prepare yourself for your next senior session. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications of future videos. And don't forget, every Monday morning we come out with new videos, so be on the lookout for those. All right, so the very, very first thing that we wanna mention when getting ready and prepping for your senior session is that being prepared is so important. Not only are you going to feel more confident going into the session, but your client is also going to feel ready and more confident. In the end, that is going to give you an easier time at the session and hopefully better images in the end as well. So be, with being prepared comes communication and communication is key to an overall great client experience and for things to run smoothly for yourself. So let's look at some things we like to communicate before a session. So we are contacting our client and we are reminding them of the date and time. Why have we learned to do this? Because we have had a time or two before where the client doesn't show up at our session and we are stuck there because they have the wrong date and time listed. So we make sure a couple days before the session to re-communicate that date and time with them. We also are going to tell them where to meet us. So we're gonna meet at whatever location we're shooting at or if it's a senior session, we are going to be meeting at um, the very first spot we want to shoot them at. And then the, that sounded really bad. We don't wanna shoot our seniors, okay? Um, the other thing we like to communicate is reminding them of the number of outfits they have. So for example, um, one of our package includes up to four outfits. So we remind them a few days in advance that they can have four outfits max. And we really like to stress that because if we don't stress that, they'll come with six. And then the amount that they're going to get in each outfit is so minimal and we spend so much time changing. Or so. they come with six in hopes that we can spend some time and help them figure out which one looks best on them, which wastes a ton of time. So even letting them know, come with four that you will wear do not bring more. We don't have time to make decisions for you. If they want to send you outfits ahead of time, um, just by taking a picture of them to get your advice, I think that's totally fine, but not during the session. So there are some other things that we really wanna make sure that are communicated and done prior to a session so we feel ready to go and our clients feel ready to go. So something else that we feel is so important is to ask them if they have any questions whatsoever. We actually bring this up often in almost any of our emails that we send to them or conversations that we're having with them. We make sure to ask if they have any questions because we want to get those out of the way if possible. Speaking of questions, we also throw an FAQ that is linked in all of our emails um, to prevent a ton of back and forth. Um, communication between our clients. So the most commonly questions that we've gotten, we put those in there. The last thing that we really like to do before a session is we give them the final plan. So with a senior session, especially the type that we do, we really plan out, you know, anywhere from two to four to maybe even five different locations, um, which comes with different outfit changes and it comes with driving and um, lots of different pieces to the puzzle to put that whole session together. So we like to give them the overall plan and that only helps us, but it will also help better prepare them for maybe what outfit they're going to start in or, you know, different outfit changes and what they might need to prepare themselves for in those situations. One other thing we like to do ahead of time, and we do this probably, I would say three weeks before their session is we send them their senior a senior questionnaire. And in this questionnaire, we are asking them 
What types of locations do they like that we've shot at before? Do they have any insecurities? What props are they thinking of bringing? Is there any specific photo they really want to get? Are there sports photos that they want to do? Um, we're even asking them some random questions about themselves, like what are their plans after graduation? What do they like to do on the weekends? And those kind of questions give us a talking point once we get to the session to start putting the senior at ease right away. So we like to get a little bit of that information as well. Comment below, what is something that you are doing right now as far as communication or prepping goes in order to prepare yourself for your senior session or to better prepare um, your senior for their senior session? Let us know in the comments below. Something that can always make us feel a lot better prior to a session, especially prior to a session, where maybe we haven't picked out the location or it's a brand new location to us, is we like to location scout if needed. Now, it's definitely not always needed for every single senior session we do because we do use some of the same locations over and over again and we know it has great light, so there's no need to go and location scout, maybe get some test shots. But if we do have the chance to location scout prior to a new location, we will do that. And just a bonus for you is we always do that at the time we would actually be shooting the session. So if we're shooting the session an hour before sunset, we are not doing this at noon, um, you know, in the middle of the day. So we are making sure that the light is going to be very similar as to what it would be for an actual session and the time that we're doing it. Now the session is almost here, so we are going to set equipment aside the night before. So some things to think about, are your batteries charged? We always charge our batteries all the way up. We have extra batteries that we bring along. Do you have an SD card in your camera? I don't know how many times we've been to a session, we go to take a picture and there's no SD card in there. So that is another thing we have learned to do to prepare ourselves. Because it's still stuck in our computer from editing the night before. Yes, and we always also have extra SD cards along with us. Um, another thing, do you have your reflector if you're using one or a changing tent? Those are two things we love to use, making sure you have those. Having a little checklist on your phone of things you need to have before each session is super, super nice. Um, and do you need to bring anything special for this? Are there props or senior gifts that you need to bring? So thinking about all those things and maybe creating a little checklist on your phone that you can quick glance at to make sure you have everything covered. And this is kind of a bonus, but something that we like to do prior to each and every one of our sessions is we like to pick just a tiny little small goal for ourselves to either keep improving or try something completely new. Maybe it's a new pose. Maybe it's, um, you know, something to do with how we're going to frame them. Maybe it's something that we want to do at the start of the session or the end of the session. Just something that can be set as a goal to help keep help improve our photography skills or the experience in general. But I think just setting some sort of small goal will always make sure you're focused on something rather than continuing to do the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, so we hope this was helpful. We, took, we hope that you took a piece of advice from here to better, better prepare you for your next senior photo shoot. And if you are someone that is interested in senior photography, we do have a free download for you in the description below. It is a posing guide and a session planning guide that you can download and print off to prepare you for your next senior session. And if you enjoyed this video today, make sure to like, subscribe, and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And don't forget, we come out with new videos every Monday. And if you don't already, follow us on Instagram at esquared.photography for behind the scenes footage of us at actual sessions. We will see you next week.